Hello and welcome to the 88th video by Pale Blue Thoughts. Today we will be discussing about the harmful effects of a fiber that causes cancer, yet it continues to be used widely in our country. You can see it all around us and people are not speaking about it in the same manner as air pollution and tobacco smoke, but it is perhaps just as, if not more, dangerous than them. Despite the dangers being well known in medical circles and with Supreme Court judgments which ban it, this substance continues to be widely used in a country as the general public is unaware of the dangers it poses. The purpose of this video is to draw the people's attention to a very serious health hazard that is present in our cities, towns and villages. We are already inhaling a lot of polluted air and we are just adding to our health risk by inhaling these dangerous fibers too. This video is both informative as well as life-saving. This is the story of asbestos, the killer fiber. So what is asbestos? Asbestos is a naturally occurring fiber that was widely used in construction and other industries until the late 1990s in many parts of the world and is continued to be used in some parts still. It is a naturally occurring silicate mineral. It is actually mined from the earth like we mine other rocks. Archaeological studies have found evidence of asbestos being used far back as a stone age to strengthen ceramic pots. It has been used since the early Greek and Roman times and was used to make ropes, clothes and for making corrugated roofs. The material has some good properties like fire resistance, resistance to corrosion and can be a good insulator and it does not conduct electricity. Asbestos is non-flammable even at very high temperatures and is extremely flexible and durable. In the 20th century, this material was widely used in building construction for strengthening cement and plastics as well as for insulation, roofing, fireproofing and sound absorption. They have also used asbestos to insulate boilers, steam pipes and hot water pipes. They were used in the automotive industry in brake linings, that is, in vehicle brake shoes and clutch pads. Asbestos has been used in ceiling and floor tiles paints, coatings, adhesives, plastics and even in some crayons and face powders. Chemically, asbestos minerals are silicate compounds, meaning they contain atoms of silicon and oxygen in their molecular structure. There are six types, all of which are composed of long and thin fibrous crystals, each fiber being composed of many microscopic fibrils. The three most common asbestos variants are chrysotile, Crossidolite and amosite. Chrysotile, also called as white asbestos, can withstand the fiercest heat but are so soft and flexible that they can be spun and worn as easily as cotton. Resistance to alkaline attack makes chrysotile a useful reinforcing material in asbestos cement building products. Traditionally, it was the most widely used of all asbestos types, accounting for approximately 95% of asbestos mined annually. Crossidolite is known colloquially as blue asbestos and have a high resistance to acids and they have been used as thermal insulator for a long time. Amosite, also known as brown asbestos, is considered one of the most hazardous types of asbestos and has been used in cements as chemical, electrical or thermal insulators in gaskets and tiles. So overall, asbestos was in various industries and in plain sight for a long time. All this notion of the usefulness of asbestos started to change in the 1900s. A London doctor named Montague Murray conducted a post-mortem exam on a young asbestos factory worker who had died. The post-mortem confirmed the presence of asbestos in the lung tissue, prompting Dr. Murray to express as an expert opinion his belief that the inhalation of asbestos dust had at least contributed to, if not actually caused, the death of the worker. The record in the United States were similar. 
early observations were purely anecdotal in nature and did not definitely link the occupation with the disease, followed by more compelling larger studies that strengthened the association. Widespread recognition of the occupational risks of asbestos in Britain was reported in 1924 by a Dr. Cook, a pathologist who introduced a case description of a 33-year-old female asbestos worker, Nelly Kershaw, a textile worker from Lancashire who died due to asbestos exposure. This was the first published case account of disease attributed to asbestos exposure. Dr. Cook named the disease as asbestosis. Very soon, compelling evidences started to come forth from developed countries that exposure to asbestos had serious health impacts. So what are the impacts of asbestos? As I mentioned, asbestos, when broken down, releases very minute fibers. But when asbestos dust is inhaled or ingested, these fibers can become permanently trapped in the body. Over decades, trapped asbestos fibers can cause inflammation, scarring and eventually genetic damage. First is asbestosis. Asbestosis is a long-term inflammation and scarring of the lungs due to asbestos fibers. Symptoms may include shortness of breath, cough, wheezing and chest tightness. Asbestosis is caused by breathing in asbestos fibers. It requires a relatively large exposure over a long period of time which typically only occur in those who directly work with or around asbestos. One problem with diagnosis is that the signs and symptoms of asbestosis typically manifest after a significant amount of time has passed following the asbestos exposure, often several decades later. By the time it would be too late as there is no specific treatment for the disease. Those with asbestosis are at an increased risk of certain cancers. A rare and aggressive cancer called mesothelioma is almost exclusively caused by asbestos exposure. Mesothelioma is an incurable malignant tumor that is caused by inhaled asbestos fibers and forms in the lining of the lungs, abdomen or heart. Symptoms can include shortness of breath and chest pain. The life expectancy for most mesothelioma patients is approximately 12 months after diagnosis. That is, they generally die within a year of getting the disease. More than 80% of mesothelioma cases are caused by exposure to asbestos. The greater the exposure, the greater the risk. As of 2013, about 125 million people worldwide have been exposed to asbestos at work. High rates of disease occur in people who mine asbestos, produce products from asbestos, work with asbestos products, live with asbestos workers or live or work in buildings containing asbestos. The first lawsuits against asbestos manufacturers occurred in 1929. Since then, many lawsuits have been filed against asbestos manufacturers and employers for neglecting to implement safety measures. The diability resulting from the sheer number of lawsuits and people affected has reached billions of US dollars. To date, about 100 companies have declared bankruptcy at least partially due to asbestos related liability. One of the biggest evidences for the harmful effects happened after the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center. As the World Trade Center collapsed, the lower Manhattan was blanketed in a mixture of building debris and dust. More than 1000 tons of asbestos are thought to have been released into the air following the building's destruction. Inhalation of a mixture of asbestos and other toxicants is thought to be linked to the unusually high death rate from cancer of emergency service workers since the disaster. Thousands more are now thought to be at risk of developing cancer due to this exposure with those who have died so far being only the tip of the iceberg. The movement against asbestos and the evidence of its harmful effects have become so strong that 67 countries including the European Union has completely banned the mining and use of asbestos. There is no safe level of asbestos exposure. The World Health Organization estimates that 107,000 people die annually from asbestos related diseases. If you look at the list, you will see three major countries which are not present in the list. The US, China 
and of course India. US has not completely banned asbestos but has regulations in place. China still continues to use it. Now what about India? Though the Supreme Court of India banned its use in 2011, it is still being widely used across India. The judgment has not made any significant change to the ground realities. The country uses about 350,000 tons of asbestos annually and the industry is growing by 12% every year. It is the world's second largest market of asbestos after China. Asbestos deposits are found in Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Rajasthan and Manipur. There are more than 100 asbestos manufacturing plants that employ 300,000 workers who in turn support millions more. Government data shows that asbestos use has grown by more than 80% in the past decade. Workers at cement factories in Ahmedabad, Hyderabad, Coimbatore and Mumbai are suffering from the lethal effects of asbestos. In these factories, the prevalence of asbestosis varies between 3 to 5%. Worse, India continues to import asbestos to be used in cement roofing sheets, cement piping, friction materials, textiles, insulation and even railways and armed forces. Moreover, asbestos products carry no health warning labels and trade unions have no mandate to prevent asbestos related disease at workplaces. In fact, asbestos related diseases are never diagnosed but simply labeled as tuberculosis or bronchitis. As long as the government have no mechanism to prove that lung cancer deaths and other severe conditions are being caused by asbestos exposure, the Indian asbestos industry is overlooking the global efforts to completely eliminate this deadly material. Only a fraction of the asbestos used in India originates in the country. The majority is imported from Russia and Brazil, the world's two biggest exporters of the product. India continues to use asbestos despite the overwhelming evidence that all types of asbestos are carcinogenic. Business interests continue to support the use of asbestos in India. The demand for inexpensive piping and roofing material is the driving force behind the business. Despite research from around the world that supports the dangers of asbestos, the Asbestos Cement Products Manufacturers Association, the leading industry organization, fails to recognize the problem. The rate of asbestos-related death and disease has leveled off and begun to drop in many countries thanks to the significant decline in its use in the last 30 years. However, with continued and growing use, poor workplace safety, poor regulation, India seems to be moving in the opposite direction. The long latency period ranging around 20 to 40 years between first exposure and diagnosis of mesothelioma means that even if India cuts back on its use now, the disease will continue to be a problem for decades to come. If you have ever flown into Mumbai and you happen to look down just before landing, you would see the infamous slums of Mumbai, Andheri and Dharavi. The roofs of most of these slum houses are made of asbestos. In fact, you would find these sheet in use in many places across the country. Workmen and security sheds, lift shafts, it is present all around us. Most of these are drilled into while fixing them and the fibers get released from these and they can enter the lungs of those living or working inside them. Does anyone care? Or more importantly, are people even aware? You may be walking past a shed with an asbestos roof without knowing that there are asbestos fibers around you and you may inhale them without knowing and you are bound to get lung cancer. Two pictures of people in two different countries handling asbestos will show the difference clearly. Life apparently comes cheap in India, sadly. A smoker may escape getting lung cancer or an alcoholic may never get a liver cirrhosis. But if someone inhales these fibers, there is no way that they would escape getting cancer as the material never goes away from the body. Although occupational exposure is the number one killer, Second-hand exposure is becoming more and more common, affecting those who don't even know that they have been exposed. Second-hand exposure often comes from the older construction or from workers who unknowingly bring home the asbestos fibers. 
Asbestos products are not especially dangerous when they are new and the fibers are encapsulated. But as they age or become disturbed during a renovation or remodeling, the microscopic fibers become airborne. They can unknowingly be inhaled or ingested and become lodged in the thin membrane surrounding the lungs. Over time, they cause inflammation and scarring which leads to asbestosis and mesothelioma and death. The problem of asbestos use in India is due to lack of information among the general public. Even educated classes seem to be unaware of the biological hazards of asbestos. While tobacco products come with a statutory health hazard warning, asbestos is freely used in private and public places in India without health warnings. And that is the reason for me doing this video to educate people about the ill effects of asbestos and to stop people from using it. I request all of you to please share this video so that this vital information reaches more people and our children and near and dear ones are saved from a painful death. Together let's put an end to the use of this killer fiber. I hope you found this video informative. Until next time, it's bye bye from Pale Blue Thoughts.